Hey guys, it's Christopho and welcome to another Solaris tutorial about um, creating a two-dimensional uh, game, a Zelda-like game. So today I'm going to explain uh, another type of entity that I haven't really explained yet, but uh, it will be very, very easy. It's actually the wall here. So it's basically an invisible wall and this tutorial will be very short because it's one of the simplest <laughs> types of entities but it's very useful so you can customize what it is a wall for so by default it's a wall for everything so if I put a wall here it will be it will be terrible because it's invisible so there is no point <laughs> really in doing that but for example um, when you as soon as you have several rooms like this and you have enemies you don't want the enemy to go from a room to another so here so the enemy is traversing the, the door and we don't want that so if you don't want that you can put a wall here in the door and state that the wall should be traversable for the hero but obstacle for enemies NPCs um, so there are, are not always NPCs in dungeons, but um, let's imagine that it, it could be possible one day to um, make, the pl make the hero escort uh, a non-playing character out. So maybe we can allow NPCs to traverse. Blocks we probably don't want to allow, and projectiles. So let's allow projectiles to traverse. Projectiles are arrows and everything that can be thrown, for example uh, a vase. Okay so let's see what this gives. Okay so the enemy is is now stuck So we'll put these in all doors. Oops. And actually I have my inside store map and you should have the same kind of map. I will update it to put walls in all models of, of doors okay and also with these ones mm, like this <coughs> okay good so um, there is not much more to say about walls you can also use them, for example, um, to make stupid stupid puzzles where the hero, I mean, putting some invisible walls for the hero in some puzzles. And even, uh, I, I did that in Zelda Mystery of Solaris DX. There is a room where the, there are walls that are invisible, but actually the, the enemies can traverse them. So it's very strange. Um, yeah. Anyway, a more realistic example would be um, in a village, in an outside map. Can okay, imagine um, a town with with houses and non-playing characters walking randomly in the town, and you can put some invisible walls to 
restrict them so not obstacle for the hero but maybe obstacles for enemies and NPCs enemies it won't matter because uh, there probably won't be enemies on, on the village map but um, maybe you want to restrict NPCs from going outside the, uh, your town anyway okay um, so this was a very short tutorial but um, I still wanted to explain walls as I explain any type of entity and next time we will see separators um, they are very useful exactly for this kind of situation because um, here it's still not perfect and maybe you want the camera to be restricted to this room and to scroll to the next room it will be possible with separators okay uh, so we'll see that next time thank you all for watching see you take care bye